did anything noticeably change about either you all's performance or or theirs kind of in that third quarter um it seemed to set the tone for what ended up being um, a pretty um uh, disruptive fourth quarter on their part yeah i thought um i mean we played them almost even in the third we just had a hard time putting two ends of the floor together a lot of the night we had a great string of stops in the second quarter couldn't really capitalize on a lot of plays third quarter uh, we we got moving and scoring um, and couldn't really slow them down. And then fourth quarter, uh, we couldn't get our offense going. So it just wasn't a great night. Credit them. I thought they had a really good plan and executed it really well. I thought um, Morant controlled the game, did a really good job on the offensive end. Um, you know, so they deserved a win. They certainly outplayed us tonight. I, I did want to ask you about a couple areas where you all seemed to be able to take advantage, which was above the break threes in that first half. And then also the the offensive rebounding category, they they came in as the best rebounding team in the league, and you were able to hurt them there too. Yeah, the rebounding in the first half, you know, we shot the ball well and we rebounded the ball, and that's what kept us in it. We were, I think, eight for twenty-seven in the paint in the first half, um, which is a really low number. I mean, that's a bad number from three. So um, a lot of that was just us trying to play in a crowd. We got a lot of shots blocked, took a lot of really tough ones in there, didn't make the extra one, and then we course corrected that in the third, but. Um, the offensive rebounding for sure was huge in the first half for us especially and continues to be a good source of offense for us. Mark, what, what did you think of Shea's offensive game tonight and just like the balance of it? He was 4-14 of 14 from the field but had career-high numbers from the free throw line, 17 of 19. Uh, he obviously drew the fouls. I thought you know those were legitimate calls. He was getting hit. Um, I thought our whole team, including him, you know, he's a big part of what we do offensively, our whole team... Um, you know, other than the beginning of the third quarter, uh, just offensively tonight didn't have the type of attack that we needed to against the way we were being played. You know, and, and it wasn't limited to him, but he was certainly a part of it too. You know, I just thought we all were a little too sticky um, even after we attacked, you know, and that's a team that they're just sold out off of uh, the perimeter trying to get the ball out of the paint uh, by any means necessary. And so uh, against those teams, you got to use the pass. And I thought in the third quarter when we did that, that's the type of attack we could have had, but certainly didn't do it consistently enough tonight, Shea included. You guys shot 19 of 45 in the paint, 20 of 54 from two overall. Do you think that was more of you guys missing easy ones, or was that was there something specific that they were doing? Uh, we might have missed a couple easy ones, but I thought it was more shot quality on our part. Uh, and what they were doing is they're just, like, selling out on when the ball got in there. And, um, you know, I thought we just tried to jam the ball up there too many times. Uh, and it was across the roster. It wasn't. It wasn't just one or two guys. It was just kind of contagious tonight in the wrong direction for much of the game. And so certainly, um, it, when you're in the paint that much, you should have a much higher quality of of shots. And uh, we didn't have that tonight. I wanted to ask you about um, Gene's night. It seemed to be a pretty bright spot, just in terms of not just offensively, obviously de- defensively as well. Four steals. Did anything in particular stand out about the energy that he brought to the game tonight for you guys? Uh, he just continues to build trust with um, his competitive level. You know, it doesn't seem to matter when he's out there, um, you know, how often he's out there, how long he goes without playing. You know, when you put him in the game, he's ready to play and he's ready to compete and he brings a real edge. Uh, and I thought that was important for us tonight. I thought he gave us a good lift uh, in a couple different stretches and just continues to be impressive in that um, his competitive level stays at a certain certain point and you can't really throw him off of that so I thought he brought that again tonight Mark I think you guys did it once er, er, earlier in the season but heading home like in the middle of a long road trip is that just sort of nice to be able to to reset back home before you head back back out for those last two games yeah it would have been a long run you know and uh, doing two nights off on the road at this point in a trip you know it's one thing to do that maybe early in the trip or on a shorter trip but it would really have extended this trip you know and and you start start seeing stars, so um, you just get home and um, you know reset, re- you know do some laundry hopefully, and uh, you know hit it for uh, Cleveland and Dallas.